Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia World. In the last lecture we saw numericals about conservation of energy and degradation of energy and some numericals on kinetic and potential energy. Today's lecture we will be discussing about uh, different forms of energy. We will see several forms of energy and what do they mean and then we will see some conversion of energy that is interconversion from one form to another form. Let us start with our lecture. Amongst the different forms of energy, one of the very important form of energy is called solar energy. Solar energy. As the name suggests, solar energy is the energy radiated out by the sun. So it is the energy given by sun. Now we have already tried to harvest the solar energy for our day-to-day -day use. How? We use solar panels, we use solar cells. These things help us convert the solar energy, the energy released by the sun and uh, make it into useful forms of energy like electrical energy. One of the problem with solar energy is that the energy density that is the amount of energy that is reaching the earth every square area a square meter that is every unit area is quite low and also the present existing technology uh, the efficiency extracted from the solar energy is very low. So there is a lot of research going on in the solar energy region. Secondly, there is heat energy. Remember that this list is not an exhaustive list. This is just a list to get an idea about different forms of energy. I will just uh, discuss some of the major forms of energy heat energy. Now what is heat energy? We have s talked about heat energy in our day-to-day -day life many a times. So heat energy is basically the energy released when we, we burn some coal or gas or our LPG, the household gas to cook food. So the energy released, that energy released is called as the heat energy. Now third is light energy. What is light energy? Light energy is the form of energy which helps us see things, visualize things. Light falls on a body, it reflects from that and we receive it in our retina and we see the object. So light energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation which helps us see our environment. This is also a form of energy. In fact, light energy has been used to convert it into electrical energy and use it for other purposes. Chemical energy. Chemical energy is the form of energy which is stored within a material or within a uh, fuel as chemical bonds or when a fuel is burned then heat is released so where does the heat come from it comes from the chemical energy of the fuel so it is basically the energy possessed by different fuels which can be converted to useful energy this energy comes from the breaking of the bonds which releases or uh, for chemical reactions rather not breaking of bond chemical reactions when a chemical reaction happens then energy is released and these chemical reactions helps us extract the chemical energy of the material now let us discuss hydro energy hydro energy as the name suggests, it has something to do with water. Hydro means water. So what is hydroenergy? Uh, do you know how does 
electricity how is electricity produced uh, in by the use of rivers or waterfall what happens is that running water when it passes through a region we place turbines on those regions what it does is that the moving water starts to rotate the turbine and this rotation of turbine is used to produce electrical energy so effectively what is happening is that the energy of the running water that is the hydro energy is being converted to electrical energy so hydro energy is also a form of energy similarly the electrical energy is a form of energy this is the energy possessed by electricity due to the movement of electrons then we have nuclear energy nuclear energy is the energy possessed by the nucleus of the atom uh, how do we use this nuclear energy we let it undergo fusion reactions or fission reactions what happens in these reactions is that a certain amount of mass is lost and that lost mass of the nuclear material is converted to heat energy or available energy which can be converted to electricity or any other form of energy and what phenomena or what law does this nuclear energy utilize it utilizes Einstein's equation E is equal to mc square where E is the energy produced when a mass m is destroyed and c is the velocity of light in vacuum so basically what is happening is mass is getting destroyed to create energy now we have uh, wind energy wind energy is basically movement of wind movement of air is wind and that can be used to run turbines which can then be used to produce electricity so the moving wind or the moving air is also a form of energy now I am talking this is also a form of energy the sound is reaching you and it is causing vibrations in your ear which is helping you to understand what I am saying so what form of energy is this this is sound energy therefore sound is also a form of energy which is caused by the vibration of the air molecules and that helps transmit the energy from one place to another place from the source to the observer then we have our mechanical energy which we have already discussed mechanical energy what comes under this kinetic energy and potential energy so mechanical energy is the energy possessed by a body due to its state of rest or of motion that is due to its position that is the potential energy or due to its motion that is the kinetic energy now these are some of the forms of energy that we see in our day-to-day -day activities this is not an exhaustive list as I already said this is just an indicative list to give an idea about the different forms of energy that do exist and these are mainly the energy that we encounter in our day-to-day -day activities but there are a lot other kinds of energy too now with this idea about different forms of energy let us see some examples of interconversion between these forms of energy we saw in our previous lecture that energy can neither be created nor destroyed it can only be converted from one form to another so we see that there is a scope for converting energy from one of its form to another form in this 
particular section of our lecture, we'll see some examples of such a conversion of energy. I will use some day-to-day -day examples which you actually see in your everyday life so that it is easier for you to comprehend. Imagine switching on a bulb or a tube light. What happens there? When you switch on the tube light, electricity flows through it. Electrical energy is basically then converted into light energy. So this is an example where electrical energy is converted to light energy. Let me write it down. Electrical to light. This example is bulb or a tube, fluorescent tube I mean. And uh, in addition to production of light, some of the energy is lost in heating the filament. Some of the energy is lost in forms of radiation losses. So it's not that 100% of electrical energy is converted to light energy. There is some dissipation or there is some loss of energy. Let us see another example where chemical energy is converted to light energy. Chemical to light. If you light a candle, then what happens is that the chemical energy of the wax or the candle is converted to light. The wax or the candle burns and produces light. So here the chemical energy is being converted to light energy. In addition to light, again there is heat produced. Let's see another example in which chemical energy is converted to mechanical energy. Chemical to mechanical. Our day-to-day -day motorbike or a car. What happens is the fuel is burned and as a result of that the car moves. So the chemical energy of the fuel is being converted to kinetic energy of the car. This is an example of chemical energy being converted to mechanical energy. Now we also have read about solar energy just a while back and there I mentioned something about solar panels. What does solar panel do? Solar panel basically converts the solar energy which is a form of light to electrical energy. So light light to electricity the example is solar panel There are a lot of other conversions too. We have seen several conversions actually while discussing some examples like when we discussed uh, the analytical and relation, the analytical example to find the conversion of energy that is we threw a ball up and we saw the kinetic and potential energy at different locations. There the kinetic energy is being converted to potential energy and vice versa. So there also a conversion of energy takes place. That is in mechanical energy itself kinetic is being converted to potential or the potential is being converted to kinetic. If we look around we'll find many more examples. So just try to see your surrounding and think about some more conversions that is taking place at this very moment around you. 
will not go into any further examples. I think this gives a pretty picture about how the conversion of energy takes place. So with this, I will be closing today's lecture. In our next lecture, we will see about different sources of energy. We will discuss renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.